what do you notice about these lines? You shall have it, right? You want to have it? No? Yeah? Alright. What do you notice about the lines like AF, DE, and BC in all three views? The same distance. No. No? Because they, they change. Shorter and longer. Shorter and longer. Oh, what do you know about the three lines themselves? They're parallel. They're parallel. So they're parallel in this view, they're parallel in this view, they're parallel in that line. Same thing with AB. D, E, and E, F, right? The parallel here, the parallel here, the parallel here. So that's one of our, our main rules. There's a whole chapter in the book on it. There's a whole chapter in here. I don't know which one it is. But if two things are really parallel, they'll be parallel on every single view. So usually that means that you look at it and you see two views and it's parallel on two views. It's probably going to be parallel everywhere, everywhere else. Okay? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and minimize that down. So today we're going to move into actually, instead of just doing a line or a flat plane with multiple points, now we're going to move into 3D objects. And in this case, maybe two different objects. So. In this case, we're going to imagine those are two different rods. They're two different wooden dowels or metal rods or something. And they're in space. And they're, when we look at them, it looks like they're crossing, but they're not really touching. How can we tell they're not really touching? Even just from these two views. How can we tell those things aren't really intersecting at one point? Yeah. Yeah, they're just different. The intersection point here doesn't line up with the intersection point there. So we know that it's not really intersecting. It just looks like the way because one's here and one's here. <clears throat> so now the question is, what? Which one's closer to us, right? Which one is closer to us? So which one should we see? So like, just my arms. One of the arms you can see, one of the arms you can't see part of it, right? So we want to see the same thing here. Which one of those is on top? How do you know? No. What is this view? Looking at this from the top, right? We're looking from we're at this position looking down on this. So what does that mean? That things that are higher in this view are closer to this view, right? So it means if I come from this intersection point and come down, I'm just going to draw a line from that intersection point down. I hit that line first, right? So what does that mean? It means that up here at that intersection, this is the line that's on top. And so this is this line. And I, on, on your guys' down here, I said to color it magenta. Oh. So I'm just going to change the color of that magenta. Because that's the line that's on top up there. All right? And I can do the same thing from here, draw a line from here go up. So the same thing now, this is the front of that, right? And so here I'm looking at the front of the object. So anything, the closer it is to the folding line, the closer it is to the front here. So by getting this line, now I know that in this view, that line is on top, or in the, the front. Okay. So in this case, the magenta line is the one that's closest to the viewer in that view. Does that make sense? Yeah? A little bit. Do we want to do another one? So 
I've got two, two lines again. <clears throat> so which one is on top in the top view? Long one or the short one? Short. So I come down from here, we're going to come down. Here, let's start up this so I can write. So let's label that. Now, why we labeled points yet last week? Because now instead of saying the long one, we can say A, B, or C, D. <clears throat> so, which line is on top up here? Yeah, A, B, because when I bring that point down, I hit line A, B first, right? So, A, B would be on top there. And in your book, instead of doing this line that has like a cylinder and you actually have to break the lines. I think this is we get the same idea, just a little bit less work. So now here, which one's in front? Yeah, so bring it up. I hit C D. So I mean C D is in front here. So any questions on that? So that's our second key. So our first key was project points. Measure what? Where do you measure points when you project them? Two views back. So if you're drawing the side view, you measure from one, two views back to the top view. Right? So you project the line straight perpendicular to the folding line, measure from two views away. Second thing is you have a, an intersection or you want to find a point. You just bring the line back to the previous view, and whichever thing you hit first, that's the thing that's on top. And that's how you know your visibility. <clears throat> okay? So with that, we can do everything. All of the auxiliaries we'll do next week, the secondary auxiliaries, kind of, we'll know true length and some of that stuff, but how we figure out what we're going to see is all based on this. Okay? Now we can go a little bit. A little bit more complicated. Now I have these in points A, B, and C. I can't read it. Are on this plane down here. Change that color. Okay. Points A, B, and C are on this plane, and they're all connecting. So let's first connect the lines, right? So I'm going to draw a line, turn on my node, there, 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 there. It's a pyramid. Pyramid. But I don't know which one of those is crossed. And this line's inside of the object, so I don't know if it's in the front or the back, right? So I'm just going to change those to be yellow for now. So I, so I don't know which one's the top, which is the back. So how do I figure it out? Let me label these points too. What's what? Yeah. So this intersection, I come down, and I see what it hits first. So does it hit? And all I care about is like I care about DC and BA. Those are the only two that I care about. If it hits AD first, it doesn't matter because that's not the one that I care about. 
So I'm going to bring it down. What does it hit first? It hits DC, right? So that means that up here, DC is an object line. And it means that AB is my hidden line. Okay? Now let's look here. How am I going to figure that out? I don't have anything crossing here. So how do I look at it? So I don't have anything crossing to go from an intersection. Do I have any intersections at all right there? On that view that I can use? Yeah, I have this BAC. So I can come from A and see where there it hits. Does it hit BC first? Or BD? Right? And also, you can kind of look at this. If you look at that, what do you see? Look at the top view. Where's A? To the back, right? So this is the front, this is the back. So just by looking at it, you can say, oh yeah, that's going to be hidden because if this is solid right here on the front face, if, if BCD, BCD is here, then yeah, that has to be hidden because it's behind it. So sometimes you can kind of use some intuition. You can also go from there up. And yes, you hit BC and DC before you hit that point. So that would be a hidden line. Okay? Is that making sense? So let's look at just four points that are nothing's on a plane that we can see. intersection point, I'm going to come down. BC. So I come from here. BC. Is that one of the lines I care about? Is this line one of the ones I care about? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so I care about DC, so, so DC is on top there. I'll just put that back to the later. And this one will be layer so it might, make, might be easier if I just made a construction layer, right? So I didn't have to keep changing the color. Now from here, which one? BC can go up. And so if I go up from there. It's BC first. Is that one that I care about? Yeah. So then we know that BC is on top. So I'll just change that back to back to object. And then I'll change that one to hit it. Okay. Questions? So that's what you're going to do tonight for the first part. So you've got a few sets of two lines, a few that are lines on a plane, 
and then a couple that are just objects sitting flat on the ground in the front view. Right here it shows that CG, because that point is both CG. Oh, that's just, what did I do? Oh, I forgot to rename that. just serves as C and D. So when you get this, rename that to C and D. For there and there. This one you can see, this one C and G, C and G, because they're vertical from each other. So what is that? A cube, right? What's this? If these are just C, C and D and D, what's that? One side. Yeah, it's a wedge. Two. We have two heights here and one height there, it's a wedge. Then you have one of those ones with just some kind of prism sitting in space. Okay? Questions? So you're going to do those and I'll give probably until 6.30 for that. So you got an hour to kind of work on those, and at 6.30, we'll start talking about kind of real objects. And so we're going to take out some of these blocks, and we're going to draw the top, the front, the side view, and I'll go over that at 6.30, okay? Questions? Oh, all right. Yep. Yeah.